In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you, and with your spirit. Mary Magdalene recognizes the Lord when he calls her Mary. Likewise, God has called each by name at our baptism. And he asks that we go out as his disciples to be his hands, to be his feet in the world. When we take time for the Lord and nourish our relationship with him, we are better equipped as his disciples. And as a disciples of Jesus, coming together to celebrate him, our life, our resurrection, our hope, let us take a moment to call to mind all our sins and ask, our loving Father for forgiveness. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.
heaven on earth, peace to people of good will. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace to people of good will. sacrifice of Mass is being offered for the repose of the soul of Diana. Let us pray. O God, who have bestowed on us paschal remedies, and O your people with heavenly gifts, so that possessed of perfect freedom they may rejoice in heaven over what gladdens them now on earth. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. On the day of Pentecost, Peter said to the Jewish people, Let the whole house of Israel know for certain that God has made him both Lord and Christ, this Jesus whom you crucify. Now, when they heard this, they were caught to the heart, and they asked Peter and the other apostles, What are we to do, my brothers? Peter said to them, Repent and be baptized, every one of you, 
in the name of Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins. And you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. For the promise is, for the promise is made to you and to your children and to all those far off, whomever the Lord our God will call. He testified with many other arguments and was exhorting them, save yourselves from this corrupt generation. Those who accepted his message were baptized and about 3,000 persons were added that day. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. The earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. Upright is the word of the Lord, and all his work are trustworthy. He loves justice and right. Of the kindness of the Lord, the earth is full. The earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. See, the eyes of the Lord are upon those who fear him, upon those who hope for his kindness, to deliver them from death and preserve them in spite of famine. The earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. Our soul waits for the Lord, who is our help and our shield. May your kindness, O Lord, be upon us, who have put our hope in you. The earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. Christians of the Paschal Victim, offer your thankful praise. A lamb the sheep redeems, Christ who only is sinless, reconciles sinners to the Father. Death and life have contended in that combat stupendous. The Prince of Life who died reigns immortal. Speak, Mary, declaring, what you saw wayfaring, the tomb of Christ who is living, the glory of Jesus' resurrection. Bright angels attesting, the shroud and napkin resting. Yes, Christ, my hope is arisen. To Galilee he goes before you. Christ indeed from death is risen, our new life obtaining. Have mercy, Victor King, ever reigning. Amen. Alleluia. Lord be 
and with your Spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you. Mary Magdalene stayed outside the tomb weeping. And as she wept, she bent over into the tomb and saw two angels in white sitting there, one at the head and one at the feet where the body of Jesus had been. And they said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? She said to them, They have taken my Lord, and I don't know where they laid him. When she had said this, she turned around and saw Jesus there, but did not know it was Jesus. Jesus said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? Whom are you looking for? She thought it was the gardener and said to him, Sir, if you carried him away, tell me where you laid him and I will take him. Jesus said to her, Mary. She turned and said to him in Hebrew, Rabuni, which means teacher. Jesus said to her, Stop holding on to me, for I have not yet ascended to the Father. But go to my brothers and tell them, I am going to my Father and your Father, to my God and to your God. Mary went and announced to the disciples, I have seen the Lord, and then reported what he had told her. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In today's Gospel, taking place after Jesus' death, John recounts that when Mary Magdalene and Jesus see each other, he speaks to her as his beloved sister. He says, I am going to my Father and your Father, to my God and your God. For the first time, in this gospel, Jesus speak not solely on his father, but their father. This language is John's way of signifying the transition taking place. The disciples are yet to experience the fruits of Jesus' glorification but the days of being associated with the historical Jesus are over. An entirely new situation is being established. His time of returning to the Father has not yet come, but the hour is at hand. What an absolutely mind-blowing moment this is. For not only has a man been claiming that he is the Son of God, he now claims his followers as sons and daughters of the same God. In ancient times, to believe that a God, any God, would deign to make on human form was one thing. And of course, it was something only the one triune God did. 
but for the same God to welcome as children those who are not divine but only human, well, that was revolutionary. It was revelatory. Yet, by the power of his cross, death, and resurrection, Jesus was reuniting us to and reconciling us with the Father. No longer were we enslaved to sin and death. For our Father, not just Jesus' Father, had sent His Son, our brother, to redeem us. It may be hard for us to understand how radical this language was, especially when we are so accustomed to praying our Father. But we ought to remind ourselves of how radical the entire enterprise of Christianity was and still is, and how blessed we are to be called sons and daughters of God. Perhaps the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead is, must be, the foundation of our hope. The hope that we too, who believe in Him, will see the living God face to face and share in His everlasting glory and joy. Without having seen Him, you love Him. Though you do not now see Him, you believe in Him and rejoice with unutterable and exalted joy. As the outcome of your faith, you obtain the salvation of your souls. Perhaps this Eucharist will help us understand in a deeper way the love that God has for us. And as brothers and sisters in Christ and children of the one Father, may the graces we obtain today make us ever more worthy for that day when we will see our Father in heaven face to face. Amen. With confidence that God is always with us, let us offer Him our prayers. For all members of the Church, may the risen Lord inspire our witness to the Gospel each day. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our national and local leaders, may God guide them in working together to address the needs of the most vulnerable. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are discouraged by illness, may God bring them full healing of mind and body. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For catechists and those who minister to this faith community in the liturgy, may God bless their efforts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the faithful departed, for Diana, 
may they be welcomed into the heavenly kingdom by the communion of saints. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for our own personal intentions. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Father, we entrust our prayers to you in the holy name of your Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good all of his holy church. Receive, we pray, O Lord, the sacrifice which has redeemed the human race, and be pleased to accomplish in us salvation of mind and body through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time above all, to lord you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb, 
who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying he has destroyed our death, and by rising restored our life. Therefore overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of glory as they acclaim. Fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, 
giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Gregory John, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servant Diana, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that she who was united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. As we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always and with your spirit.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. bestowed on your family the perfect grace of baptism, so prepare their hearts for the reward of eternal happiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May all my 
Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come, O Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful, and kindle in them the fire of your love. Send forth your Spirit, and they shall be created, and you shall renew the face of the earth. Let us pray. O God, who did instruct the hearts of the faithful by the light of the Holy Spirit, grant us in the same Spirit to be truly wise and ever rejoice in his consolation. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. O Mary, conceived without sin, pray for us who have recourse to thee. O Mary, conceived without sin, pray for us who have recourse to thee. O Mary, conceived without sin, pray for us who have recourse to thee. O Lord Jesus Christ, who hath vouchsafed to glorify by numberless miracles the Blessed Virgin Mary, immaculate from the first moment of her conception, grant that all who devoutly implore her protection on earth may eternally and 